Further north, Mexico is struggling to keep its economy on track. Life is really tough for the country's poorest neighborhoods. But there is one government-sponsored project that is hoping to at least make those homes a little brighter. Martin Markovitz has this. Enrique Gomez is from the tough streets of the Mexican barrio of Las Palmitas. While most of his friends are now either in jail or dead, he was lucky to find a way out of criminal life through graffiti art. Graffiti is also like an organized group, like gangs, but it has another vision, a vision that questions the social and political problems of the country. For the past 14 months, Gomez and his art collective group, known as the German Crew, have been bringing some much welcome color to the drab concrete streets of the Las Palmitas slum. With some 20,000 liters of paint, 209 homes have been covered with hundreds of murals in hopes of changing people's perceptions of the city. According to Gomez, it has brought crime levels down and it has had a major effect on the residents. Kids tell us when they go out on the streets and see the colors that makes them want to go to school. So what we are doing is giving people the opportunity not to give up. Colors have such a healing power. This project is funded by the Mexican government, which sees it as an innovative initiative to help a population at risk. In Mexico, the leading cause of death among young people between the ages of 15 to 29 is murder. That gives us a good picture of what our population is at risk from, and therefore secondary prevention programs are designed for young people. Enrique Gomez and his group are now reaching out to artists across Mexico in hopes of starting a national movement to bring color and art to impoverished neighborhoods nationwide. Marta Markovitz, CCTV, Pachuca, Mexico.